Hey everyone, I'm back and I'm so excited because I have a new launch to play with. So if you guys want to see swatches, an eye look and hear my first impressions on the new collection from Bella Beauté Bar, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I do love indie makeup, especially eyeshadow palettes. So if that sounds good to you, highly recommend subscribing. Turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post and without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, as always, it is a new month so I'm going to go ahead and put the link for my August monthly giveaway down below for you guys and I have just been in chaos in July so hopefully we can get back on schedule for August and I thought why not come back with a video of a new collection that's launching tomorrow and let's go ahead and check out the close-ups and swatches I filmed for you guys. So of course we have this new gorgeous collection from Bella Beauté Bar and it's launching at 11 a.m. Central Time tomorrow. This consists of four items. So we have the Melted Mattes which is a 20 pan magnetic matte eyeshadow palette. We've got two rows of essential neutral shades. We've got a row of orange pink shades inspired by the 2024 Pantone Color of the Year Peach Fuzz. Six true neon shades for a bright pop of color, perfect for summer. And this palette's gonna retail for $36. I did swatch it, of course, as you'll see. I usually swatch everything down my arm, but since there's so many shades, I did double up on the swatches. Everything felt really buttery soft and very pigmented, so I'm very excited to see how those shades perform on the eyes. Then we have kind of the star of the show, I'm not gonna lie, the Molten Chromes. This is a six pan magnetic eyeshadow palette. It has five multi-chrome shimmers and one holochrome shimmer. It's gonna retail for $60 which seems like a lot, but realistically that's $10 a shadow and they're all special shades, so it's actually kind of a bargain. Plus you can always use a discount code. Obviously not telling you what to do with your money, I'm just saying maybe it isn't as scary as it sounds when you hear $60. Then, of course, I'm so excited, we've got the Big Blush Palette. This is a six pan matte blush palette in their brand new powder blush formula. Soft and pigmented while being ultra blendable, $30. You guys know I love a good blush, so I can't wait to try out the formula. And then last but certainly not least, the Lush Lash Mascara. I have tried this mascara a few times. So this is a universal mascara with a unique brush to lift, lengthen, and volumize every lash type for a lush look for $16. So I will say the mascara is nice. I don't know that it's my favorite mascara ever, but I've filmed a few times like application, before and after, so if you wanna see all that, definitely check out a previous video. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into a look with the Melted Mattes and Molten Chromes palettes from Bella Beauté Bar. Okay, so I'm gonna take an E27 from Sigma and I'm gonna go into this shade right here it's like my favorite neutral brown to wear it's like a saddle brown shade and I'm just gonna put that all over my crease on the kind of outer portion of the crease I'm gonna kind of try to leave the inner half of the crease blank because I have a plan that I just came up with if you guys hear a lot of furniture moving around upstairs, it's because the usual is taking place at my house. So I'm trying to power through, but the last week has been so chaotic because I was just like minding my own business, filming my NZ Rain video, and we ended up like going to the park with the kids and all the things. And then it was Saturday and dinner time and my parents were over and my in-laws are here and my kids and stuff. And I was just like freaking cold. And I was like, oh my gosh, am I getting sick again? Like, am I getting toxic shock because I was on my period? And I just get so worried when I get a temperature when I'm on my period because of how sick I got when I got toxic shock. So. Anyway, 
Um, I was feeling sick, 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 and finally it just like was running a temperature. And Saturday night we ended up in the emergency room because of it. So turns out I just got something probably from like my in-laws being on an international flight. And we all ended up getting sick, so everything just got held up. So I have the new Glam Natrix palette. I have the new Too Faced palette. I have the new Artitude palette. So many palettes, including this collection and even more that I have to film with. And I feel so terrible because this is how I make my money. And if I don't film, I don't make money. So it's, you know, hard because I do have like stuff I need to pay for and makeup that I want to acquire for the channel. So I got to keep chugging along. So I'm so glad I'm feeling better. And my in-laws are watching my kids, which makes me so happy. So that's what we're doing. And that shade is just so beautiful. Now I'm going to go into the next shade right there. And we're just going to add a little bit on the outer corner. I feel like you guys are going to see. You guys are going to get what I'm trying to do here soon. So just, just go with it for now. Right? <sighs> These browns are so pretty. What do you guys think about like a half neutral, half like neon -y, peachy fuzz palette? Like is that weird or are you kind of like really into it? I think it's like laid out so nicely and I think it's such a great price too. Okay, so the plan is to use a neon shade on the inner corner, but now I'm like, why don't I use two different neon shades? Like that will be a fun little twist. So I definitely need to use the yellow and I think I'm going to use the pink. I do have an awesome shade to use as a base because that's something I tried to do with the other palette I tested out recently is use my colorful bases and actually like use it to my advantage because I always feel like neons never work and I'm like bitch you keep buying all these eyeshadow bases like why don't you actually just like use them instead of just like letting them sit around collecting dust so this one is from Danessa Myricks. I personally feel like they're a little too like wet to use as an eyeshadow base but actually I was trying to use like a little spatula there but I'm gonna try and just like press this in and I'm just gonna leave it let it dry down and on this eye, I kind of want to do pink because I think that would be kind of fun because it's just like a little, little pop of color on the inner corner change. Okay, I think that is not a ton and it's not precise by any means, but I'm going to just like let it be. And while that's happening, while that's setting, I'm going to go ahead and throw on some of this blush because it's so beautiful uh immediately all of these shades caught my eye especially of course like the more neutral shade these two are a little bit lighter than my preference so i think just with the vibe of this look i think i'm gonna go with cannoli which i feel like is the safe route to go but i also just adore this color so much and i'm really excited to put it on my face okay i'm gonna just take this fluffy brush and i'm gonna dip it in the pan and I'm just gonna I feel like it's been so long since I used a big fluffy brush for blush that was a lot of bees <laughs> that I'm like whoa this feels really hard to control but luckily since it's like such a easy color I don't think I need to be too worried but these honestly swatch like so beautifully and like they're so pigmented. I think that it makes sense to use a big fluffy brush. I also did use this with that purple blush from NYX. So I don't think it's picking up any of the purple, but just in case, keep that in mind. But I think that looks so so pretty. Oh my god, this hair. 
that's so pretty and I love to like bring up my blush all the way into my hairline oh god I just popped the wrong color I just picked the wrong color that's okay I'll just put a little bit of red velvet on both sides as well okay so now we're just making custom colors okay it's fine I need to stop before I get out of hand out of control so the plan is to throw on like a mat in our corner and then the Moultons on either side and we've got so many gorgeous colors. Molten is the holochrome shade in this palette so yeah I feel like I definitely need to try that out. So I'm just gonna take this flat brush from Unearthly. I think I'm just gonna spray this time around instead of using my glitter glue but if I decide I need it I can of course pull it out but I'm just gonna spray it and I'm just gonna bring it on the lid and oh that's so stunning wow that's so pretty let's do something different let's do should we do drip I think drip would be fun I would be inclined to go with bake because it's the lighter color but now I'm like why let's do the darker one try something new Okay, so I got some of the shimmer on. Now I want to pack on the neons. So I'm just going to grab this brush, which is like a flat brush, but like something smaller. And I'm going to grab a nice bunch of the yellow. I just kind of want to press it on. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing on this eye. I'm going to grab the neon pink. And I'm not wetting these, I usually do, but since it's a matte and I have a base, I think I'm just gonna press. I feel like I meant to do the same eye look on both eyes, but I wanted to try the two different pops of neon because I thought that would just be a fun little twist. Now, do the people just walking down the street know that I had two different colors on but I still use the same base colors no but I think it still looks fun I definitely need to deepen up the crease a little bit more with the neutrals and then we'll do the lower lash line quick okay so I dug out this KVD eye pencil that I had bought in the shade radium green it was pretty good and then I just used a color pop pink liner to just go with the look I'm gonna take this little blending brush from fantasy cosmetica and I'm just gonna take the yellow neon -y color and just kind of run that on the lower lash line. And this is definitely kind of a dustier formula. So I'm using the eyeliner as the base and I'm just gonna pack it, but also like lightly blend and it's gonna be very over the top neon -y, but I kind of love and very dramatic, which I'm totally okay with. <laughs> and then I'll just take the pencil I used on the crease and just kind of run it at the bottom just to make sure it's all like blended looking. The neons do kick up a lot of formula, so just make sure you're dusting it off before you get it on your eyes. Otherwise you're gonna have a lot of fallout, so nice and pack it on I really love how this is looking it is so different from what I usually do and I was thinking of doing something kind of similar but I kind of love that I like switched up a little bit I think I really like the neon green eye but it's kind of cool. It's a little bit yin yang. So hopefully that was fun for y'all. Now let me go ahead and spray my face quick. Then we'll try the mascara and we'll finish up the look and I'll be right back. Okay friends. So here is the finished look. Of course I had to whip out the ice cream earrings. I mean, come on. It's a match made in heaven. Anyways, let me go ahead and tell you what else is on my face today really quick in case you want to recreate this makeup look. So I decided to whip out the Bella Beauté Bar highlighter palette that I have and I'm wearing the shade The Sun 
and it's just like a pretty peachy red toned highlighter that's hopefully catching the light just right I've forgotten how to film I'm so sorry I'm just like what am I saying? I don't even know. This hair is a hot mess, but it's fine. Anyway, I did decide to use the one size powder today under my eyes and I'm wearing the Rare Beauty powder all over my face to set. And then I have on the Sigma Skin Tint. I'm still testing this one out. I've worn it like two or three times right now. I think the shade works okay for me but I'm still curious to see how many shades this will cover or how many skin tones their six shades will work for. I'm wearing the Danessa Myricks Concealer, love it so much. My usual bronzer of the moment, the Say Bronzer, and I topped it with the Top Down Bronzer from Jaclyn Cosmetics that no longer exists. My lip shade is just the Fenty gloss bomb stick in the shade oh my gosh I forgot what this one was called eee, it's like sort of selfish it's a really pretty like toffee color nude shade and what else I think that's pretty much it as far as everything else that's on my face now let's go ahead and talk about the new makeup from Belle Beauté Bar so let's start off with the mascara I think this is the one that you know, it could go either way. I'm personally a big fan of drugstore mascaras because I don't like to spend a lot of money on mascaras. But honestly, I guess for $16, that's not that far from drugstore, but it's not exactly like luxury mascara prices either. So it's a good like in between if you want a nice mascara. I feel like this gives me a lot of length and separation. I don't feel like it gives me a lot of volume, but I feel like I have decent lashes, so I don't really need a mascara to give me a lot of volume. But I also feel like I could use a little more kind of like thickness to my lashes but you guys tell me because like I know sometimes I can be a little more harsh on myself <laughs> than I need to be I feel like it's a nice mascara I really like the wand really like the packaging I think I've said all of that before in another video which maybe that's not up yet but Either which way, I feel like I've said all that out loud, so I don't want to bore you guys about the mascara. Now, as far as the Molten Chromes goes, this is so cute. And I feel like this is perfect for somebody that doesn't want to buy the All Matte Palette, but you want some like fun sparkly shadows. And, and it's already in really cute packaging. It's already been curated for you. I think the price point sounds really steep, but... I kind of think it makes sense, like $60 for six special shades. I feel like that's a good deal and you're getting this really cute palette. So you could even take like other matte shadows that you have and you could create your own little six pan palette with some of these special shades. I think that will be fun. Or you can get this matte palette and mix and match, like that could be really cute. I feel like if you love palettes, it might be a little unnecessary that they did two of these, but I think it's kind of a fun twist because if you like mattes, you can just get this matte palette. And if you like shimmers, you can get the shimmer palette. If you like both, you can get both. And then since these all pop out, you could probably just mix and match. Personally, this top row is like a true like neutrally row, almost like a cool tone and a warm tone. And I like the warm tone row, so I could definitely see myself just taking all of these mattes out and replacing it with like the special shades from the Molten Chrome. So got lots of options if you want to go there. I think that the two I tried from this one, the formula felt really nice. As far as the mattes go, I think these are beautiful. I could see this being a great like everyday palette if you're into the neutrals. The neons are fun and I didn't really get to try any of the peachy shades here, but I'm excited. I think this is really good quality. I feel like Bella Beauté Bar has come so far since their first palette that I tried from them. And then I'm so excited to have a blush palette from them because we have the cute highlighter palette and now we have the blush palette. In case you're wondering, the blush palette is a little bit smaller than the highlighter palette, so that's nice. It is quite a nice size, so it would probably fit in a lot of makeup bags and stuff like that. I think these are really fun colors. I feel like they did you know, light skin tone, medium, and then a deep, but I don't know, actually, 
I'll have to default to Dandra Nicole on Instagram for the deep skin tea on this to see how she feels all these shades look on her complexion. But she's a great resource if you guys have not heard me rave about her. Highly recommend checking out her Instagram account. She does a lot of indie makeup swatches on her deep complexion, which I always think is so helpful, even though I don't have a deep complexion, because I like to learn how different makeup products look on different skin tones. So anyways, I think this collection is super duper fun. I have been loving Bella Beauté Bar this year. I think I mentioned every single one of their palettes in my top palettes of 2024 so far that I posted recently-ish. Like I mentioned, this collection is launching tomorrow at 11 a.m. Central Time, and you can use my code KHMAKEUP to save. It is an affiliate code, so I will make a small commission. Super appreciative if you guys do use my codes and things like that. It really helps me out, helps me put back into the channel, so thank you in advance for that. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I feel like I didn't do everything I usually do, but hopefully um, a future Karen is happy with how the video turned out and everything went well with the editing and she's gonna post this video. Um, but I hope you guys are having a great start to the month. And I will see you in another one very, very soon. Bye, friends!